How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering, uh, it's a bit of a late video, but we're covering the full 21 pitch notes regarding Ultimate Team. Uh, as of today, also the Pro Clubs one came out, so you'll be seeing that video also. Just going to get straight into this, it's going to be a basic enough overview of uh, what came out. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty details because you can probably find that on another channel. If you want to get into them details, I'm just offering here the, the basic enough eight to ten minutes you get all the info you put in need and uh regarding auto team anyway so let's get into it uh foot co-op obviously was revealed i think in june uh, that it was going to be a thing and now that you can play co-op squad battles and division rivals so uh i think if you want to play now you can uh you and your friend can then get a weekly score for a certain amount of games you can kind of help towards your own rank if you're playing on with your friend's account or whatever um, that's how that works and um, if one player runs out of games uh, that counts at a weekly score neither you can continue to earn weekly score so if one of your friends is out of games you, there's no point playing with them if you're playing for points for your games that's that basically uh, the co-op friendlies and co-op trainer for all that stuff improvements uh, the co-op trainer improvements is basically the trainer thing that you use for like learning the game from now like where you want to pass or whatever just basic stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it for that but moving on to the next main headline would be the foot events the community events in particular are something that I'm interested in and has some potential uh, because this is just like a milestone objective pretty much for for the community as it says in the title of it in the picture here that i'll display on screen it's for like tifos and stuff but i reckon they will do this for other types of rewards which would be good uh, all, and then team events also that would be an interesting thing it'd be kind of like right pick a side kind of thing and you just pick your favorite uh pretty standard but like it's something that's welcomed into all the team because it's good you know it's content it's whatever it's something that maybe not a lot of people use at the start but certainly I will be probably participating in it for the first uh, couple months maybe depends what the rewards are like now on to the next one the foot stadium this one I, didn't, I actually didn't get at first uh, there's three different like stages of the stadium uh, just here the basic lines that I leave on screen for the for the first part of it for foot 21 we've built the foot stadium to be the most customizable arena in the game designed to the ground from the ground up foot stadium allows alongside your club with new customization uh, options that enable you to craft an environment which truly represents your club and one that you can take on a range of different looks whether you're interested in following a unique team based or some of the custom content in the game crafting a team that is represented by your favorite football club or somewhere in between you'll find all kinds of different options and realize your vision and then there's images on screen and stuff like that and um, you start by unlocking the full stadium a modern design inspired by many of the world's greatest grounds all that stuff to begin with you'll be able to customize the badge ball kit default celebration tifo uh, stadium team crowd chance base paint color of the stadium as you continue to play complete milestone objectives and unlock new locations for tifos commentary club names sound and visual goal effects and space to show off the trophies I've earned this year. Now that is cool. Next here says as your club continues to grow and you complete objectives across the whole team you'll find yourself ready to upgrade to the foot champion stadium. So that's going to be the stadium everyone plays in in weekend league and that by the looks of the trailer is the biggest stadium in the game so that is good. Also the screenshots here the my stadium menu uh, where you can select as you can see here the golden gold thing which is different because it's not just a tifo now it's an actual like, thing which is good uh, in total you'll have the option to customize up to 34 spaces across your stadium and club also you know it's just it's not it's not like unreal it's not, it's just not, it doesn't really affect that much but it just makes it feel it just makes it feel good yeah moving on from the full stadium uh the core competitive mode improvements it's pretty much you can get a uh, division rival placement through squad battles and you get promotion coin bonuses every time you go up a division so i think the example to use if you get in your division placements division five you will receive the coin rewards for up from 10 to division five which is handy for the stars because if you 
if you are looking above average FIFA player, you'll probably get into Division 6 or 5. And that'll put you then, you'll get like a good coin bonus, and that. I, I doubt it'll be that much, but like, I think in the trailer it's very change or that's what was on EA's Twitter. But uh, yeah, good addition. You know, encourages you to, to try to go up in the divisions, especially if it's uh, even if it's only a one-time reward. It's still something. You know, it gives you a little bit of incentive to try to get up the divisions rather than uh, stay down. Um, then yeah, that's pretty much it for the core improvement things. Uh, there's obviously a new cap now on division rivals. I think it's 30 games, which I had I did see on Twitter. This could affect it in a negative way it could turn division rivals into like a foot champs kind of sweat fest if that makes sense because if only 30 of your games count for score that could affect it to how more competitive now division rivals will become which is a good and bad thing but probably more bad now that i think of it especially if they're trying to do objectives perhaps or like a milestone or something it's going to be a bit more difficult but we'll see how it goes obviously i haven't played and in the screenshot there you see uh, in the bottom right it does say foot champs points 0 out of 500 at first you think wow 500 points to get into foot champs that's that's quality that's welcome yes now ea did come out on twitter and say this was an early stage testing and the points will remain at 2000 points which is horrible uh, obviously the updated the Full champions and squad battles, uh, top 100 to a top 200. It's a welcome addition, it means more spaces for more rewards, I think, in my opinion. Uh, the list on screen here obviously, that you'll see the full champions, full 20, the rewards went to like 1, 2 to 10, 11 to 25, 25 to 50, 51 to 75, 75 to 100. Now it's 1, 2 to 20, 21 to 50, 51 to 100, 101 to 150, 151 to 200. Similar with squad battles and yeah it's just like it's good it's it makes more players i think as nependa said i actually watched his video on it he'd be welcome to a top 500 which would it would be good like it's just more spaces to get more awards now i don't do i think finishing top 170th will be the same as top like 80th obviously not no but you know just it gives you more of a like kind of a reason and um, moving on from that then the meaningful moments is a uh, not too sure how it's going to work out i don't know if it's going to be like a promo perhaps or like one to watch out instead of receive like a meaningful moment card as well uh, as seen in the example there if trent alexander arnold was to receive a moment so him uh, to celebrate his dead ball specialist in previous games his passing would increase the raises free kick accuracy stat it's a welcome addition, I think like it makes the cards a bit more like valuable in a way. It's like oh do we really want to let this go, like his passing could get really good or whatever. And then like a like we go over free kicks or whatever. Um obviously the updated game menus will display the screenshot on screen. Uh just looks a bit more simple simplistic now and you know, it's not much to like kinda of go, Wow, it's it's good. I'm I'm open to it. It is it looks a lot better than the way it was before. I like I'm, I like it pretty much. That's to simplify it. Um, the removal of fitness and training items now. That is like amazing. It's just simple. Like it's just great. I hated having to come into a game of the like, division rivals. You play two or three games, and then you have to worry about squad fitness. So yeah, in the past you'd have to worry about squad fitness every couple of games. Now it's just uh, now it's just a reset every game, which is good. Obviously, maybe it can affect something. Like I don't know. I think uh, bronze pack method now, which is if you're an ultimate team player, obviously uh, you're probably watching this. Basically, bronze pack method is a method that you open bronze packs and fitness cards were like very dependent on the profit you made. So now that kind of lowers the value of that method to make coins, which I never really used anyway. But uh, no, I think it's a good idea because I looked at the stat, if you play like a thousand games and say a squad fitness is a thousand coins, you get literally saving a million coins. But yeah, overall it's just, it means it's less stuff in packs, which is kind of good. 
But uh, yeah, just to wrap this up now, the new uh, confirmed icons in FIFA 21. One that I'm looking forward to definitely using is Eric Antona, obviously, for uh, purposes that I support United, you know, obviously. So it is, it will be really good to see what he's like on FIFA. Uh, yeah, the likes of Eric Antona, Perachek, Ashley Cole, Samuel Eto, uh, Philip Lam, and Furnich, Puskas, Bastian Schweinsteiger, a surprise icon. I didn't think he would have been one of the icons. And then a returning icon, Davos Suka, the Croatian. Yeah, Croatian. And then Fernando Torres, I believe. Yeah, Fernando Torres, another one I'm very excited to use, Nemanja Vidic. I think he's going to be a crazy centre back on FIFA. And then one that's probably not going to be so much used. It's kind of like Pirlo this year. It's like he's known for his passing. Uh, Shabby. Anyways, that's going to be it really for this uh, video. I'll be doing a pro club zone soon enough as well. Uh, you'll get to see my reaction over on that as well. And my thoughts. So for now, thank you for watching and see ya.